Uh, it is my pleasure to announce the second speaker, speaker Alexander Tiritonkov. Uh, the title of the talk is On Relation Between Exact and Markovian Correlation Functions for Unitary Dynamic Dynamics uh, with Random Hamiltonian. Uh, you are welcome. You have 50 minutes uh, for the talk and 10 minutes uh, for discussion. Please. Thank you very much for introduction. Thank you uh, very much for the opportunity to give a talk here. Um, and in a certain sense, uh, the style of my talk uh, would be uh, in totally opposite to the um, uh, style of previous talk, because um, the previous talk was about um, uh, results uh, published, obtained, and, and well understood. And most of my talk uh, was um, would be about uh, will be about results which are uh, on early stage of development um, at least at least for me and uh, some parts uh, of it are I'm trying to understand now so uh, criticism is uh, uh, highly highly appreciated because um, uh, I'm actually interested in feedback to all the story we'll, that I'm going to uh, discuss and uh, informal, informal, uh, informal uh, title of my talk uh, should be something like what is in the one uh, parameter semigroups of operators theory be beyond the one parameter semigroups. Um, so let's it, let's fix uh, fix it. I, I will return it to it now uh, in the end. So this is the outline of my talk. So I uh, first of all I will try uh, start with introduction into the multi-time quantum measurement theory. And actually there are several mathematical uh, mathematical uh, formulations um, uh, of it, uh, but I. Uh, we'll use uh, the formulation based on process tensor, which is uh, now uh, uh, very, very um, is developing and actively used in physics in uh, many, many articles of open quantum system theory and uh, connected topics. Um, but, but of course, uh, there are uh, much earlier results. Um, on st uh, quantum stochastic processes, uh, which are uh, in, in certain sense ab ab about the same thing, but nevertheless, I I, um, I think it it would be interesting uh, to public here uh, give an introduction, which is uh, used now in physics, but um, uh, different different from uh, from usual mathematical uh, approach to this. Uh, then I will speak something about multi-time correlation functions and quantum regression formula uh, formulae, and uh, then I will turn to unitary dynamics with random Hamiltonian, and uh, about the uh, the main uh, then go to the main topic of uh, of uh, my talk uh, to the relation between exact and Markovian correlation functions, and then I'm, uh, I will come to conclusions. So uh, let me start with one uh, one time quantum measurement theory. Um, well, uh, I will try to be uh, in any in any cases I will be as simple as possible. So uh, everything here can be generalized and uh, generalized uh, in many many books uh, actually. But I I will uh, use the simplest simplest. Uh, cases, simplest definitions, uh, uh, well, uh, which uh, uh, still still um, give me an opportunity to uh, uh, discuss the uh, the main the main uh, topics of my talk. So all matrices of linear maps uh, in all the my talk will be finite dimensional, and uh, uh, let me give an usual definition of instruments uh, in quantum theory. It is, uh, well, I also have an instrument just with a finite number of results of outcomes. So 
it's also of course this could be uh, generalized 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 some to to some measurable measurable space but for me it's just final set uh i have a function from this final set to completely positive maps uh it's this function for a, a, every x from x uh, capital is a trace non increasing non increasing uh, function uh, and uh, the sum with respect to all these elements is trace preserving map or sometimes it's called a quantum channel or for people from quantum information theory uh, this is uh, this is ma usual main objects uh, uh, which describes one time measurements one and uh, not not only results of the measurement but the final density matrix uh, after the measurement it it was uh, already in the um uh, Alexander Nikolaevich pitching uh, uh, talk so um and uh, there are also many many intersections with uh, with his talk and possibly many with many other talks of the conference uh so uh I will not go very uh, deep in this one one time uh, theory I I will go to mul uh, uh, multi time multi time quantum measurement theory so uh, uh it should be um, generalized as follows so we are started from this one one time uh, one one time uh, instruments and just make a tensor product of, of them. Uh, it is actually not all possible, uh, not, not uh, all possible instruments which uh, one can think about. But it's uh, there are different different uh, terms for it. I will call it multi-time factorized or multi-time Markovian instrument. So this is instrument which has uh, no its own memory. So the system uh, can can be Markovian or non-Markovian, but instrument this instrument have no uh, memory. Um, uh, this instrument instrument could be uh, could be characterized by these uh, tensor tensor products of instruments applied applied at each at each time at each time. So I have uh, a set of time moments and. I have an instrument uh, applied um, at each time, and all these tensor products uh, are usually uh, denoted by this this um, uh, this notion. When I have uh, these indexes from zero to k, and here I have indexes k uh, uh, column zero, so it's um, usual notation as i said in in some physical literature now um and uh to uh, describe describe uh, a system uh under multi-time measurements uh one uh, can define a linear map uh from uh, uh linear combinations of uh, tensor products uh with fixed fixed lengths so for also for simplicity um and uh, as it's usually done in physical literature i i just fix the k um and uh it's x to the uh to the uh bounded operator but here as i said it would be just a matrix in the in uh, in the uh, uh, Hilbert space of the system, uh, and uh, it is uh, called a process tensor if we sum with with respect to all this axis uh, uh, and obtain a density matrix. Uh, I follow here this this notation from Nature Communications uh, paper. Uh, this uh, this is why we need uh, this object to be a density matrix. It is a density matrix that we interpret it as a final state of the system at the final uh, time dk. Uh, uh, you can see I, I uh, uh, have uh, uh, here in definition k, but here k minus one. So I have one last 
time uh, in my pocket. And uh, because this time is used um, uh, here, it is uh, time for final final state. Uh, final state after all these measurements or, or at the uh, uh, after after we apply the instruments uh, which are here at times uh, one to k minus y uh, one uh, and we uh, what what is important we non selectively apply them so we just measure but not, not we uh, do not see what we we have measured uh, of course in classical it would be nonsense but in in, in quantum physics all our uh, measurements are active. We change our system by our, by our measurements. Uh, and sometimes uh, process tensor, uh, the term is also used uh, by approximately the same authors, authors uh, not uh, for this object, which is density matrix, by, but uh, this object, which is uh, uh, which is just uh, just a number, or if we are think uh, it's about as a function of uh, of our uh, multi time uh, factorized uh, 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 instrument, uh, it is it is a linear uh, linear fun function of it, uh, which is interpreted it's. Between zero and one, because we interpret is, it is a probability that we have obtained our outcomes xi as a result of applying all these instruments. Uh, so now we have both these uh, initial instruments and this final uh, instrument in, at at k time. So it depends on on all all these these previous. Um, all, all these uh, uh, measurements from zero to k, all these instruments. Uh, uh, for unitary dynamics, uh, we we actually you, you see the same uh, formula in the Alexander uh, Nikolaevich Pechin talk uh, in almost the same notation. Uh, um, the um, the um, result of this measurement. Uh, uh, the final density matrix is described by this by this formula, where is here is just generic generic uh, case. We can uh, consider both time dependent and time independent um, uh, Hamiltonians. So uh, these maps are defined in terms of these solutions uh, of the Cauchy problem. Oh, it's actually. Um, or, or, or the propagator of the Schrodinger, Schrodinger equation. Uh, for general Markovian dynamics, uh, uh, it's usually assumed uh, the same the same formula. It's usually assumed the same formula. That, uh, uh, but the only the only change uh, is that uh, instead of unitary dynamics, we have a uh, Garini Kosakovsky Sudarshan Liblot dynamics, meaning we have uh, 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 also a propagator uh, with uh, which is defined uh, from the solution of uh, Garini uh, GKSL equation, uh, po possibly time, uh, time dependent. Possibly time dependent. Uh, of course, uh, if it is time independent, it would be a, a semi group, uh, but uh, in, uh, if it's constant, it's exactly <laughs> the answer to the um, to the question to the previous talk, uh, but uh, in general it co could be um, uh, could be uh, a propagator. I, I don't know. There are many many different notations for this property uh, in um, uh, Reed Simon book. It's called propagator property or some or something with some propagator. So I. I do as as well. Uh, and if it's constant, it's just a quantum Markovian semigroup. Uh, but but what what is important in all this story uh, without Markovian approximation, uh, this this object or uh, this uh, semigroup is not enough. Is not enough to 
to say something about uh, this correlation. So it's it's this is the form of this process tensor in the Markovian approximation, but uh, it's not not necessarily so. Uh, this is exactly why why I uh, why I called uh, informally my topic, which is in the semigroup theory uh, beyond the semigroups because because even the, we know or calculated or know something about semigroup there are still questions uh, questions uh, in open um, in uh, open quantum system or uh, quantum system dynamics which is not fully char characterized by semigroups but it is very closely related very closely related, so uh, it's I think in the area of the semigroup theory, but it is something something a bit beyond it. Um, uh, and actually, uh, this is um, in a sense uh, this discussion is not very novel. The same discussion uh, discussion in classical Markovian semigroups was uh, by Feller many many years ago. But, uh, but what is important, it, it, it was also for the classical uh, probability, uh, for classical stochastic processes, for classical Markovian semigroups, and so on. So it's, in a sense, it's not novel. Uh, and actually, it was already uh, touched, at, at least touched, on uh, so conferences, because um uh, on the in 20 uh, 21 by myself for uh, i discussed the in, in a bit different notation which uh, i will you will see beyond uh the multi-time correlation functions of open systems uh for some specific quantum model uh but uh in any order of perturbation theory in galuba van hoff type perturbation theory it's in sense generalizes result from usual usual uh, weak coupling uh, limit in perturbatively. Uh, and uh, in, on the previous OPSO conference, it was uh, in much more detailed and in much more general setup, this problem was uh, discussed by uh, John Goff. So uh, in a sense, um, the reason which why I choose this topic is, um, is because uh, uh, this this problems in sense growth from from pre previous opso op conferences um, uh, and uh, and of possibly I should have said that also the tensor uh, tensor representations but uh, in very close setup was also uh, discussed by uh, Sergei F Nikolaevich Filipov at the at the uh, previous uh, opso conference as well so there are some uh this topic are actually growing in, inside of the conferences despite of the fact that this is beyond semi group topic um uh, uh well uh but uh usually in physics and uh in mathematics is described uh in in previous physics books and uh in in mathematical books is described in terms of uh, not in terms of instruments, but in terms of so-called correlation functions, uh, namely, uh, in if we uh, if it is a linear map, so we can um, take any anything we want as an arguments by linearity. So we we can uh, take not the instruments but uh, these strange operators, and then after substituting here are these strange operators. Then one obtains something called uh, cor correlation function. Correlation function, uh, uh, the, the same, uh, the same um, it, it could be, uh, the Markovianity could be defined in terms of correlation functions. It's usual definition of the Markovian, um, Markovian dynamics, for example, in, Every textbook of an open quantum system, for example, in Petrucciani book, but uh, mm, but what is uh, possibly um, not uh, not fully understood here that what uh, people started asking asking what is the 
the operational meaning of this uh, of these objects. So, what does what what does it mean as a as a measurement? Uh, and uh, the answer is not not actually very trivial because uh, let me possibly write a bit. If you have a classical classical correlation function, something like x uh, uh, two uh, of uh, t two uh, uh, and x one uh, of t one, assume uh, these uh, axes are self self adjoint operators. Then one could say, oh, possibly we can could interpret it as, as I have a uh, usual uh, uh, von Neumann's uh, self adjoint uh, uh, observable uh, at time t1. Then I have another observable at time t2. I measure uh, this observable at time t1. Uh, measure this observable at time t2, and then uh, I'm just averaging with respect to results uh, which I have obtained because it is exactly the same in the in the um, in the um, in the classical theory. But what is important? It is not the case, not uh, totally not, not the case in the. Uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the quantum theory, uh, for example, uh, well, even even these times could be equal. Uh, we can uh, one could be uh, could be um, uh, uh, one self-adjoint operator. The another could be another self-adjoint operator, but. Uh, if they are, do not commute, we we don't don't know what does it mean. Uh, they are a joint uh, a joint measurement, and we do not know what uh, does it mean uh, um, this this uh, total measurement because it is not self adjoint operator. We, if we not symmetrize them, so uh, but actually in physics uh, in physics they are measuring, but what. Uh, uh, as I said, by linearity, one can written this is polarization type um, uh, equality uh, that, uh, oh, sorry, it should be something different indexes. Uh, well, it could be um, uh, considered as a linear combination, linear combination of, uh, of uh, completely positive maps and after normalization, it could be uh, made uh, uh, trace non-increasing, um, but uh, and in in this sense, it's possible to represent all these uh, objects uh, by linearity in terms of in terms of these objects, in terms of uh, these objects, and only these objects have direct experimental uh, experimental uh, meaning. For example, uh, well. Mm, uh, there are some also discussion in the physical literature because uh, there are some some people uh, some people are saying that uh, for example for example uh, for example these ones uh, that uh, they, they have no <laughs> experimental meaning but uh, and we we should just just calculate these uh, things. But actually, um, if one see the uh, the uh, mm, spectroscopy spect uh, setups, uh, real real physical measurements of uh, when we consider some spectroscopical uh, measurements, we me we measure we measure these uh, these correlation functions, uh, um, but uh, the uh, we measure it by interacting. Uh, mm, by uh, by interacting with external electromagnetic fields and mixing mixing the results of the resulting waves for uh, 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 in an interferometer or something like that. So uh, what is important? What is important? It could be it it has uh, it has um, an experimental meaning, but uh, exactly this uh, as in, in terms of this. This uh, linear combination. So it's there is physical meaning, but this this uh, measurements assumes some multi-time non-factorizable or 
sometimes called time correlated procedure. So it's not just we measure something initially, then measure something after that, and so on. It just we uh, some some measure something dependent on something or something like that. So it's like uh, measurement like mm, measurement with with uh, its own memory, uh, like uh, like te temp uh, te thermometer, uh, for example. Uh, uh, which which you have without uh, which um, left its its uh, its uh, previous previous results without markovization procedure when we uh, shaking this thermometer it the uh, uh, sec another result should be always always greater for example it's something like that so this is uh, we uh, actually it is interesting for, for me that even in our everyday life we have markovization procedure to have a markovian uh, 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 instrument but without shaking the thermometer uh, we have we have something which measure temp temperature higher than previous not not um, so it has a memory. So it's not Markovian, not factorizable uh, instrument. And uh, uh, moreover, moreover, what is also interesting in the, uh, this theory, of course, uh, uh, this uh, the, 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 this time ordering, this time ordering, which is uh, used in most of physical books, and what is important that not all possible time, uh, for example, it's not possible uh, to have other orderings of time. For example, it is very natural to ask why I cannot um, set here in, in between some largest time and uh, obtain some, some different correlation functions. So not, not all possible correlation functions have 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 uh, could be written in this form. So this uh, we have a specific order order in here. So uh, if we uh, uh, change the order of times, uh, usually you will obtain something is which is not not defined by regression formula at all. So if you have a regression formula, you don't not, don't know anything about about these correlation functions. But but. It seems that out of time uh, ordered correlation functions are important in many uh, qualitative uh, qualitative effects like phase transitions and so on, like scrambling. Um, so oh, it's just some um, tutorial, but uh, there are many many papers for some I think five maybe three, even three years last last five or three years which uh discuss the importance of out time order correlation functions as well so actually it is actually a very interesting uh, part of this uh, story about correlation functions because uh, mm, uh usually usually uh, in physics only uh, regression formulas uh, uh regression formula correlation functions are uh, assumed to be defined by by uh, 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 semi group or propagator, even even in Markovian case. So, uh, but but what is what is now about mathematics? Actually, uh, there are two uh, not fully, as I understand, not fully um, the same definitions of the. Uh, Mm, of the correlation uh, co uh, of the quantum stochastic processes. The first one, uh, physicists cited with a comma, with a comma, uh, assuming that they are the same. But as far as I understand, they are not the same. Uh, namely, uh, there is Limblad definition, which which is exactly only a regression formula definition, and uh, Accardi Frigerio Lewis definition, which actually defines all possible correlations. So uh, it it's, uh, it allows. Um, some symmetric uh, correlation function of correlation kernels is, is usually uh, called correlation kernels uh, uh, in some mathematical literature. So uh, it's not only a regression formula, but also out of time order correlation function or correlators. Uh, and uh, for example, uh, it's, it's difference actually emphasized, for example, in the in this 
uh, book by uh, Alexander Semyonovich Holio, but uh, I think uh, not not where I understood in physics. But why? Why? Uh, it's it's possibly not uh, super important for my talk. This this part of the story, but I think it could be important uh, at this uh, stage of interaction between physics and mathematics because. Uh, uh, I, 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 as I said, uh, all the uh, not not out of time ordered correlation functions was not important until until uh, recent advances in in physics. Uh, but now it, they are important. So possibly possibly the um, stochastic limit and so on could could define something a bit something a bit more than. Uh, this this physical um, theory of the uh, this uh, uh, physical theory of stochastic processes which we have in physical literature. So possibly possibly for, for somebody it would be uh, important. Well, and uh, what I'm trying to do, just trying to uh, to uh, have an example of uh, Markovian dynamics in uh, uh in this uh, sense meaning in one time the uh, markovian dynamics so we in the sense of semi groups or uh, propagators uh, that it has a markovian generator and highly non markovian in in uh highly uh non markovian in terms of correlations and in certain times uh sim as simple and as natural as possible so uh we <laughs> The way to obtain uh, to obtain it, I think, is uh, just random Hamiltonian dynamics. So it's uh, I meaning uh, here we have a random variable which is time independent. So it's fixed in time. So uh, this uh, leads that we have, of course, we have a memory because we just take it initially and um, know uh, have the same. Rem uh, result of this random variable through, through the whole evolution. Uh, of, of course, there are other examples uh, in the literature, but I, I uh, also I also not found many, many discussion about this, this uh, very, very simple uh, story. Uh, uh, nevertheless, we have uh, in our conference uh, in in previous in, in this year discussion of some random random evolutions, for example, uh, by Sergei Janovich, Janovich Sabayev and other other uh, participants. So uh, possibly there are also some interactions uh, with these results. Um, mm -hmm. And well, uh, uh, LT is just dot is just different. Uh, differentiation operator, uh, LT is just real continuously differentiable function, and uh, A is just fixed uh, Hermitian matrix. So we just have a, a possibly time-dependent Gamiltonian, uh, generically time-dependent, time uh, and uh, with uh, multiplicative uh, random, not noise, but, uh, not noise, but uh, random parameter. And to consider the uh, unitary uh, random unitary propagator with um, this uh, Gamiltonian, it's obviously defined by this uh, this uh, Cauchy problem, and it's all, of course it's solvable. It's solvable for just for if x is uh, function of omega, then for any fixed omega, it's solvable. So. Uh, we have an explicit explicit sol uh, solution here. Uh, well, one time dynamics, one time unitary dynamics, which is such a, a random Hamiltonian, uh, a random Hamiltonian is uh, defined uh, could be defined by averaging by taking a, an expectation uh, with respect to this uh, random parameter of uh, unitary dynamics. And uh, it uh, could be uh, represented as a uh, characteristic function of this random variable um, applied to this super operator of commutator. It's uh, 
self-adjoint uh, operator in uh, if we make uh, matrices uh, to be um, to be Hilbert space uh, under uh, under uh, uh, Hilbert Schmidt uh, um, product of the matrices and uh, well uh, here are just constants uh, I mean not matrices but just scalars uh, but they of course functions of time and they then uh, the evolution uh, without <laughs> uh, um, you know, if we not measure anything we just have initial density matrix and uh, have an evolution without without any interruption by measurement uh, so we we can use it only for one time dynamics of the observables if we measure something at the end uh, then uh, uh, it it would be defined by the following formula this is this psi is a completely uh, positive phrase uh, preserving map so it is a channel and actually in this case uh, it's random unitary so it's uh, also identity preserving so it's this unitary unital or stochastic channel in terms of quantum information theory uh but let me uh remark that does uh, this uh, complete positivity of course doesn't not mean that uh if we differentiate it uh, l of t uh, will be a gksl generator uh, this is uh, the case only when uh, mm, such such an operator, which is um, some result of uh, dividing dividing evolution uh, uh, two time s uh, uh, two time t by to the evolution two time s, if this uh, operator is completely positive, uh, and in such a case. Uh, one one time dynamics is usually uh, dynamics is usually called completely positive divisible. Uh, usually, some some uh, some a lot of actually physical literature this call uh, Markovian dynamics, um, but sometimes it's not. It is not um, Markovian in terms of uh, correlation functions, but nevertheless. Uh, people uh, were very widely used it and characterized just com uh, completely positive uh, divisibility. Uh, and uh, let let me remark that in general uh, this object is not this object. So uh, phi is not psi. Uh, uh, moreover, this uh, uh, oh, sorry, uh, sorry psi uh, with respect to uh, indexes uh, with respect to parameters or variables t and t zero is, does not have to satisfy propagative property this phi is propagator but not psi uh, and in fact these dynamics can can be not uh, cp divisible even for simple distributions in some of my paper with such example but what is important there's still possibility that there are uh cases when uh, when it is cp divisible uh, cp divisible so we we will obtain something like usual usual uh markovian markov equations with time dependent or time de independent uh generators namely uh if we consider standard gaussian normal distribution so we have zero mean uh and unit uh variance then we up will obtain uh, this ex explicit explicit formula explicit formula for uh, this is evolution from initial uh, time of this uh, propagator and uh, for uh, for the generator uh, for the density matrix dynamics so this is explicit formula for t uh, uh, larger than um, uh, t zero or equal. Uh, it is actually interesting, very interesting generator uh, for GKSL uh, situation of this uh, equation. I have, for example, results that the closed din dynamics of mon moments of such generator is closed if the same true for the unitary dynamics with 
uh, Hamiltonian uh, with, oh, I mean, Hamiltonian A. So if we have some, in certain sense, solvable dynamics uh, with uh, Hamiltonian A unitary dynamics, we it is very easy to obtain, in certain sense, sol solvable dynamics uh, 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 for uh, this, uh, this uh, generator. Uh, this, it's, uh, here it's discussed for GKSL case, but it's not very important. Only alg algebraic structure is the same for different lambda here. Uh, so uh, the same in, in this, in the, um, uh, the, this is good, good properties uh, uh, of solubility in, in, in terms of dynamics of moments of, um, so for example, if we have infinite dimensional case and uh, moments of uh, some quadratic generator in creation and Galatian operators or uh, finite dimensional case in, if we speak about fermionic, um, uh, creation and inhalation operator, then, then um, uh, we will obtain the closed dynamics for this uh, GKSL or even not GKSL, but uh, master, master, non non it's highly non Markovian, non CP divisible master equations. Well, <laughs> but uh, the definition of this solubility should be found in this work and some other works. I, Developing this theme, I actually is developing for a very long time. Uh, and this uh, generator generator could be no. written at, in almost G, G, GKSL form, uh, almost because, uh, of course, in generally LT could be minus LT zero times this L dot <laughs> lambda dot. <laughs> Sorry, um, would be negative. But if uh, we have monotonically non-decreasing uh, function, so it's uh, increasing or states the same uh, for t larger than t zero, then it has GKSL form with this lean dot uh, term. Uh, in in uh, for example, uh, a simple example of this. Mm, of oh, this uh, generator is a pure decoherent generator. Uh, some open quantum system model of pure decoherence when also the similar equations, but from much more sophisticated, much more um, detailed um, model of the of the of the uh, heat bath. So here I have just a random variable, but uh, there it would be a real bosonic. Uh, Heat bath so uh, could be found uh, as if I understood in uh, Anton Trushichkin, uh, Anton Sergeyevich Trushichkin talk uh, on this conference. Uh, um, and uh, uh, let me consider several several specific uh, specific cases. Uh, well, this is case lead to uh, lead to just semi group just to. Uh, uh, generator which is time independent, and uh, usually it's obtained uh, uh, by averaging with respect to Wiener processes, but it leads to Markovian dynamics of multi time correlation functions. And here, here I have, here I have, uh, uh, here I have. Uh, most natural, I think, the case it it leads to non uh, non uh, time dependent uh, generator. But uh, here, initial Hamiltonian is time independent. This is very nature. But time dependent Hamiltonians are also interesting because of, for example, control theory, as was discussed in the previous talk. And we can define as well uh, here the exact process tensor by just by averaging by uh, taking uh, an expectation of uh, this uh, now, now now random random unitary evolution and Markovian tensor by usual Markovian formula like it would be we like if we don't know how to calculate it but we just uh, use a usual Markovian formula from the textbooks then uh, possibly the main mm, mathematical result not just 
discussion is uh, uh, an exact uh, calculation here, uh, the uh, relation between this uh, uh, exact tensor and Markovian tensor. And uh, this relation could be also, uh, uh, it is also a tensor and uh, uh, I need the following definition. It's usually many body system theory when AI is an operator in AI position and uh, other uh, just identity matrices. Then this is this is explicit explicit formula for the transformation from uh, from Markovian uh, uh, Markovian uh, correlation function to uh, to exact correlation function. Uh, well, it's it's in terms of tensors, but of course, of course, we can also take C's here and take traces, so it would define define the correlation functions. Uh, well, it's interesting in the following thing uh, is the following. It could uh, it could be interpreted in the following in the following way way. Uh, we have. Uh, that we have actually uh, the Markovian dynamics. Of course, uh, this just says because it's not equals one. It says this we, that we have highly normal, very very non-Markovian dynamics in terms of uh, multi-time uh, measurements, multi-time or multi-time correlation functions. Mm, and yes, possibly what is important, uh, I uh, it it is possible uh, to use this formula both. Or time ordered, or out of, or not time ordered, not regression formula correlation function. But most of, most important are, as I said, from operational point of view, of course, uh, time ordered correlation function uh, functions. Well, uh, uh, we can interpret it as have actually a Markovian dynamics, but highly non-Markovian measurements. So we have not uh, measurements. Uh, uh, implemented by this M, but this product and this tensor is some crazy correlation between these tensor product measurements. It's time correlated. It could be like in usual uh, in usual quantum theory, we have Schrodinger picture interaction picture and so on. Uh, it could one should call it Markovian picture, something like that. So we can turn into Markovian picture. Uh, well, okay, it's of course could be reversed, uh, but it's not obvious that these objects have very good operational meaning. Uh, but it could be important in the cases when Markovian formula became part of physical ontology, because uh, sometimes some objects, some some objects which uh, physicists think about are actually assumes in direct, usually very in indirect way um, the Markovian approximation. So uh, this is uh, this uh, in this case, I think uh, this transformation to the uh, Markovian, this calculation of the Markovian objects, Markovian correlation functions, uh, could be uh, could be um, important. So the idea that we can measure this uh, time correlated um, using some time correlated uh, measurements to measure this Markovian Markovian uh, correlation functions from from real from exact. This is just simple, just simplest case, simplest case for. Gaussian Gaussian case it's more more explicit and uh, this simplest uh, simplest case uh, for Gaussian case rewritten for this most important semigroup case so we have just usual semigroup uh, dynamics Markovian Markov uh, Markovian quantum semigroup dynamics but uh, in uh, it's, it's exactly the this 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 case but we have very, very, uh, very uh, non-trivial uh, relation between uh, Markovian correlation functions and uh, and exact actual correlation functions. Uh, this is explicit formula, but of course, um, the, ma the main the main uh, um, idea that these objects are not the same. So 
uh, and the corrections could be um, as uh, strange as, as it possible. So I will come to conclusions. I have discussed multi-time quantum measurement theory and multi-time correlation functions. Uh, and it was some introduction to this story. And uh, we have shown that in particular cases, cases the dynamics with random Hamiltonian can, be, can lead to just usual Markovian semigroups or uh, uh, propagators for one time dynamics. So we just have a GKSL equation, possibly time dependent. But, but nevertheless, multi-time behavior is highly non-Markovian in this case. And we, uh, we calculated uh, some transformation into Markovian picture from this uh, initially non-Markovian picture. So thank you for your attention. Thank you for, for the very nice talk. Uh, please, questions? May I uh, please ask a question? Um, uh, thank you very much, um, Alexander Genge, for a very interesting uh, report. And um, I am um, interested in uh, your uh, further plans for studying of um, um, some uh, analogs of uh, do you have some plan to uh, study uh, the uh, analogs of um, limit uh, theorems uh, for uh, uh, the um, composition of uh, random transformations, uh, in particular generated by uh, random Hamiltonians? Well, uh, th th thank you for, for very uh, uh, good question. Uh, yes, of course, and I, I hope your, your results could, could help me in this direction. Because uh, actually, uh, here I have only one uh, random variable, so it's not easy to obtain very, very okay. good mm -hmm. limits uh, in, this, in, this case, in this case. But of course, of course, uh, if we have several several ran random uh, 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 variables, but uh, what I'm interested in, uh, because of course there are some uh, some limits which which leads to actually to linear processes of something like that. So when we we have um, something which leads to uh, processes which independent increments, and this leads just to usual usual uh, um, regression type formula. But what is interesting to try to understand uh, if it is possible to obtain some possibly uh, not, 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 not so, so, so large uh, um, per, uh, this correlation, correlation uh, tells us something much more um, understandable, something, which, something much closer to the, uh, the usual regression formula, but, but the first for some small co corrections or something like that, I think this is this is uh, yeah, this is interesting. I think, I think in this direction. So um, I, I hope mm -hmm. your results uh, as well will ha help me. In, in Thank you, uh, and I hope that uh, the um, Markovian property uh, can be uh, obtained in this uh, limit procedure. <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. More questions, please. Hey, yes, if possible. Uh, yes, so, please. Uh, thank you, Alexander, for a very interesting talk. Uh, indeed, uh, these formulas uh, are exactly what we studied in uh, the context of quantum measurement control. Uh, this is, for example, ex exact process tensor. Uh, I see it, but we studied it from point of view of optimization of uh, observables so, so points x0 x1 etc uh, about random Hamiltonian uh, so uh, uh, what kind of random variable is lambda I miss it because uh, no, this... it's, xi is random variable is just uh, real uh, real random variable not uh, uh -huh. actually uh -huh. generic actually generic but uh, for uh, for good uh, for good generators, uh, for limit yeah. generators, we we should use something good like uh, Gaussian uh, Gaussian mm -hmm. 
uh, distribution. But in principle, in principle, it's possible to consider different uh, things. What 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 I uh, I think we <laughs> we actually uh, a bit defer that we have this average actually important in this story. So we have I have a random yeah. objects here and oh, globally yeah. average it. So mm -hmm. this is. Uh, mm -hmm. difference uh, yeah. with uh, just with yeah. unitary dynamics and unitary yeah. or Markovian yeah. control. Very good. And uh, for example, uh, we consider that sometimes when uh, in quantum control uh, such situation when Hamiltonian has term which is white noise, so it contains random term, uh, so it is something uh, fixed plus white noise. Is it uh, similar to what you do or, or should be uh, different? Well, white like noise. Uh, it, it, physically, it means fluctuations in the control, like white noise, for example, some over type of fluctuation. So you have some fixed control uh, and plus uh, some physical fluctuations. And mathematically, it is a random term in Hamiltonian, which is additional to some constant uh, or time dependent, but, but fixed to a term. Well, uh, very, very good question. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for it. Uh, well, uh, this uh, if we you you have a, a noise which is, uh, for example, Wiener noise or uh, general Levy noise, so so mm -hmm. something which is uh, a process with independent increments. It leads to just usual Markovian formula. So in this uh, mm -hmm. or in quantum. Uh, uh, Broken in motion, you are usually obtain um, uh, just usual uh, Markovian process sensors. But what you, what I'm trying to say, there are different different situations which are uh, actually in setup even more simpler, even even simpler. We just have a random variable, not a process. But in the correlations, it, it's much more complicated. Mm -hmm. This is this is the point. So and in point, uh, it's mm -hmm. if if we are related to the uh, control theory, it's uh, it's like uh, something like you have a control, but something uh, very in sort of sense correlated control. So you, uh, as I said, uh, mm -hmm. you, you, your control uh, control is also related to some to some heat bath. So the the uh -huh. the, the the experimenter is not yeah. is not. Uh, have some 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 non-trivial uh, uh, structure with with memory. For example, you are mm -hmm. uh, making some some uh, applying some 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 results, but uh, this this uh, the results of these measurements are actually in a certain mm -hmm. cells uh, is is uh, um, still still in this is a quantum channel. So it's not cl 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 cleared. Mm -hmm. Idea, ideally, so there are some correlations with this, uh, with this measurement. Uh, well, this uh, sorry, with this measurement in, in the our, our next uh, measurement. As I said, we have a thermometer. Uh, if we um, not shake it, we have results of the previous measurement. So this some control with memory. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. Yeah, very, I think we can discuss later. There is some interesting. Topic. Okay, thank you. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Uh, I would like to mention that uh, room C is available uh, <coughs> during all the conference. You can use it as a chat room. Um, it, it will not be occupied by talks. So please, uh, if you wish to discuss something, go to room C or to room B if it is. Uh, um, if it is opened, uh, if it is not occupied by by, <coughs> okay, we have uh, time for uh, one more question. No questions. Okay, then probably I will ask a question. My standard question: From your point of view, what is the most important result in your talk? Well, if speaking about uh, my results, it's actually this this result, which is called theorem, or only results which is called theorem from, from my talk, because it's exactly my calculation. And uh, after that, I have my interpretation of this calculation uh, as a transformation to Markovian picture. Uh, everything before it is some introdu introduction, some setup of the problem, and so on. So it's not results, just but 
introduction into the into into the all this story. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe one more short question. Well, uh, 